What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ride With Purpose. Thank you once again for being here with us. Sure do appreciate y'all. We got ourselves one busy Saturday. I should be at work tying up some loose ends, but uh, that can wait. I got more pressing matters to attend to, like uh, getting my my Charlie girl some breakfast this morning. Uh, Saturdays are usually our our date, we get breakfast every Saturday morning, and she knows what day it is because she'll wake me up with a cold snoop to the face bright and early. But uh, besides all that, we have something even more important to attend to, and that is uh, my big brother down from the Lansing area bought himself a new-to-him motorcycle, and he's on his way up right now to Miller's 31 Sales in Petoskey, and I'm going to... Uh, feed the pig over here and hop on Gwendolyn and ride on up to uh, to meet him. I'm pretty pumped about it. This bike was not there when I bought my bike uh, 10, 11 days ago. Um, otherwise, I probably would have got it. <laughs> it was more something I was looking for. But uh, I love my bike. I But this one here has everything I actually do need on it. So, um, Especially for the amount of uh, long distance riding I've been doing and and camping so but it is what it is i found it i sent it over to him and uh he went and got it so we're gonna go take care of some business with that but uh yeah we'll see you guys soon i'll be uh on the bike uh heading north well i uh lost my butt plug the not my butt plug the thing that goes on my my bars here for my gopro I mean, it's somewhere in this mess. Oh. Anyways, that sucks. I've been looking for it for like, you know, all of five seconds. It's not right in front of me, so we're going to move on. But uh, yeah, let's head to Petoskey, meet up with my big bro, and uh, see what bike he bought. Well, we made it to Petoskey. Big Brother's running a few minutes behind. And uh, I had some uh, business to attend to. Plus, I wanted to check on my Connex that I had delivered. So I stopped by my job site here. We're going to be making this thing an old art van into a community health center up here in Petoskey, Michigan. So uh, I don't know how long I'm actually going to be on this thing because now the work's telling me I might be doing uh, a few jobs. So. We'll see what happens. But either way, it's nice to stop by and, uh, and see the job site. We just got demolition going. I haven't been up here for a few days, so uh, I just want to see what the uh, progress was, I guess. So we're going to burn a little time here, wait on Big Bro to get his ass up here, and uh, head over to uh, our friends at Miller's. All right, let's say hello to an old friend, man. She is up for sale here. At Miller's 31 in Petoskey. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys, I can't guarantee nothing. Obviously, it's a used bike, but it's uh, it's a damn strong bike. has 32,000 miles on it. We got all Eagle Lights everywhere around. Every light on this thing is from Eagle Lights. We got the Vance & Hines VO2, big sucker. We got Tab Performance all the way back with the uh, four and a half inch zombie baffles inside her she's nice and loud oh, beautiful you got the uh the big blue pearl and vivid black paint you also got yourself arlen ness 13 inch bars you have a uh, bluetooth system in it you got upgraded speakers from uh, rockford fosgate with a 400 watt amp inside this bike. Um, this, the stereo is your typical Harley stereo that goes in and out. But uh, I'm gonna do this, man. If anyone sees this video, they come up here to Miller's and you buy this bike, my my old bike, the 2012 Ultra Limited. They're asking $10,400, I believe. Um, if you buy that bike, get a hold of me, email me at nomi, N-O-M-I, bikers at gmail.com. <laughs> I have a aquatics radio sitting at my house that goes in that bike. I was too lazy to put it in all summer. I'll ship that out to you 
as well as uh, a couple of Ride With Purpose shirts of your, uh, of your size. So uh, come on down here to Miller's US 31 sales in Petoskey and uh, check these guys out, man. They got, they got a ton of good looking bikes in here. So even one that my, my asshole brother bought that wasn't here when I came 11 days ago to buy it. So let's go check out what Big Bro got. Well, this is his old bike. This is a 2012 Roguelide Limited. Tons of extras on it. Um, engine work done to it, all sorts of cool stuff. He even has the uh, upgraded radio in this one as well. So, um, LED lights. Good, good bike. I think, what, 47,000 on it? 46,000 on his old bike. He's trading it in, and he got this guy. This thing was not here last Tuesday, lucky for him, because it would be in my driveway. So what's the deal with this one, bro? Well, rolling from the old to the new, and just wanted to upgrade. The new navigation system, just get up there in the, in the real world with it. What was it, 2019? 2020. 2020. Road Glide Limited. Nice. Has less than uh, 10,000 miles on it. A beautiful red and black, two-tone, blacked out. Has S and S exhaust on her, and I'm sure there are gonna be a few more upgrades coming, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, looks oh, yeah. great. She gone. We made it back home to Traverse City. One thing I noticed on these uh, Milwaukee 8s is that you don't get that tick, 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 tick sound um, when she's hot, you know, when you pull it in. So, hmm, I thought that was kind of cool. I can also uh, just tell the wife I was home all day. But, um, yeah, so went out there to help support my big brother who bought himself a beautiful 2020 Roguelide Limited. Uh, red and black I think that bike is is sharp looking man. It's it's really cool had some uh, slip-on SNS slip-ons on it But other than that, I think it's relatively stock um, Looks like it might have had some aftermarket bars on there, but um nice bike uh, Was not there 11 days ago when I bought old Gwendolyn here, so Or else that bike strong possibility that, <laughs> that bike would have been sitting here in my garage right now But yeah, it was a, it was a good time beautiful ride this morning um, we even went down to the apartment that I have in Boyne and uh, showed them that and uh, made sure the bike was still strapped in there good in the trailer. But uh, yeah, so if you guys are in, uh, I mean, right now is the time to buy a gently used Harley Davidson. I mean, I think we all know that. Um, not only with, you know, the, the market's saturated right now with motorcycles. I guess it's not, right now is the time to buy any type of <laughs> used motorcycle. Because I even noticed that with Indian, and, um, and Honda, that the uh, the market's kind of saturated right now with used bikes, so the value of the bikes are going down and down and down. So, um, I mean, if this was three, four years ago, and I bought this same bike, you know, which my bike is a, is a 21, you know, it's, it's three years old. If I were to buy a, a 
a three-year-old bike three, four years ago, it would have been in the mid twenties, and I didn't, I, I didn't pay that at all for this, and neither did my brother. He did a, he did a, he got a, that bike for a really, really good price, um, considering it had under ten thousand miles on it. So, um, same with mine. Mine had eighty five hundred or something like that, and I didn't pay nowhere near what I would have paid just a couple years ago. So, um, is what it is. I mean. I'm okay with how she looks. I'm okay with running the old body style, I guess. You know, it's all the same to me. I'm not a big fan of road glides anyways. I think they're butt ugly, but uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So um, if you guys are interested though, and, uh, and, and if you're looking for a bike, I strongly suggest checking out Miller's US 31 in Petoskey. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with them. We don't have any deals. If you guys know who I am, you know about like Northern Michigan Bikers um, Facebook group and, you know, of course, Ride With Purpose, I promote other good people. And this is a good family-owned business. It's been around for a while. They stand behind what they do. Um, you know, they're just, they just seem to be good people. So uh, my sales experience with them, you know, by the time I got in there and actually got down to business with them, I was in their office doing stuff less than... I was honestly less than 15 minutes. I was in and out, and um, you know they had my bike now, as you've seen in the video, up for sale at a very fair price. So I got a very good trade in on that bike, and uh, I'll be 100% honest with you, they're not making a whole lot of money off my bike if they if they sell it at that price. So, um, and that bike is worth every dime of that 10 10 four that they're asking for. I would uh, get on that bike today and take it across country, no problem. So. Um, yeah, so check them out. Again, it's uh, Miller's US 31 Sales. Been following them on Facebook. And again, you don't have to be a local to buy from them. Um, I've seen, I've been following them on Facebook for quite some time. And I've noticed, yes, we have a lot of people from Michigan. Um, not just northern Michigan, but from all over. And, um, you know, I've also seen a lot of sales from them, from people from out of state. So when they sell a bike, so they'll, they'll put, uh, I'll put one up here of mine. They'll say sold on it, say thank you Rob N from Traverse City for the sale, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that's kind of how I follow what they're doing. So again, great people, um, a great family owned business and they sell some kick ass bikes, man. So um, that's gonna do it for me. I have to go back to work. I was supposed to be working this morning and then I will get invited to a podcast with uh, Big E for the Mid Michigan Biker Podcast. And I wasn't gonna be able to make it because of work. And now, I took that off because this was a last minute decision from my brother last night saying he was going to go and do this today. And I said, I'll ride up there with you. I thought he was going to be riding. He, he trailered, but whatever. So, um, yeah, so now I put off my duties for the day and uh, I have to go and do that. I have a job that is closing right now and I have to go box up equipment and get stuff ready because I have a truck coming bright and early Monday morning to get all of our shit off the job site. So, and I want to enjoy my day tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very important day for me. And that's Sunday. I'm just going to lay around and be lazy. So, all right, guys, that about does it for me. I appreciate you watching. Um, please hit that uh, like, share, subscribe thing that we do. And uh, again, I'm going to be having these, uh, these t-shirts coming on sale here very soon we're still kind of ironing out a little bit of uh bugs in our system and what we want to do and uh but i think i'm going to stick with going with these uh direct transfer types for right now until i get the uh the dough to do the screen printing but uh again we're gonna have these uh these style t-shirts we have a 10 inch uh, ride with purpose on the back we will be doing a american flag on the sleeve as well and uh we'll be selling these for uh about 25 bucks a pop then we have our mechanic shirts, which you guys seen in a couple videos back. Uh, Dickie's mechanic shirt, same thing. A four inch ride with purpose up front, America's uh, flag on the sleeve, and a 10 inch ride with purpose logo on the back. We're gonna be selling those for $45. And I'm looking into hats, man. I have not decided what I'm gonna do with hats yet, but uh, I think I might have a plan. So we'll see, but I'm hoping by the first year we can start selling these bad dogs and, uh, and raise a little bit of money so we can keep doing what we wanna do um, with not only the channel, but you know, the possibility of us moving on to a, a nonprofit. So, um, we're going to play that by ear. There's been some, uh, some things discovered with that, that might not be in favor of what I want to do. So, 
Um, we might be going maybe possibly in a new direction with that, but no matter what, we're still gonna be giving back to our community through love and brotherhood of biking. And um, you know, that's not gonna change whether we have a nonprofit, an LLC, anything. It doesn't matter, man. The mission's still the mission, and that's to give back to people in need, to be the voice for the voiceless, and uh, continue what we're doing, and spread the do-gooderness uh, throughout Northern Michigan. And having a, a fancy number behind what I what I'm doing means absolutely shit to me. So if I got to eat a few dollar bills to make that happen, I'll do it. So all right, I'm rambling. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.